Hi everyone, this is Wani and welcome to Wani's house. So, today is Sunday and today we will find out which two teams will be going to the Super Bowl. And I thought that I would begin to share with you how I prepare like for any of the parties that I have or any type of event that I'm putting on at home. And so my series of these anytime that I do them will be called preparing for the party. And this one is going to be Super Bowl 49. So I'm just going to go through some um some steps, just give you some tips on how I began to prepare. So like now we're about 3 weeks out before the Super Bowl. The Super Bowl is going to be February 2nd, 25th, 2015. So it's the first Sunday in February. And so now that we're three weeks out, we can begin to think about how we um, visualize the party to be. And so um, with this being said, you know, you need to go ahead and send out like in your invitations. I um, last week actually sent out evites at the the end of week before last. So I sent out evites to everyone. They either received the evite from me through their Facebook or they received it via their email. So as of now, I have about 25 people who have responded yes. So you know when people say yes out of time, everyone doesn't show up. So you can count on about 20% of your guests not showing up. But we always have like a really packed house anytime we have a party. So, um, but just that's just the rule with any event. You can just expect 20% of the guests not to attend. So, so now, like I said, we have like about 25 yeses so far. And um, we invited 35 people. So, um, yeah, so we're going to see. So it, the, the party will probably be split because my the main living area, it is a good size, but it's not going to be uh, big enough to hold all of those people. And usually when we have like events like that, we would use the um, the patio area. But because, you know, we're, we're in December, I mean, January and it's cold and, you know, all the other stuff. So we'll probably be divided between downstairs and the game room, just depending. Um, my husband was thinking about um, having everyone, maybe some people out in the garage or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really for that, but I don't think it's going to come down to that. It never has before. But anyway, just to go on. So now we've invited our people. We also need to determine our budget. So um, depending on the amount of people you're going to have, you know, it's just going to depend on how much money that you're going to spend. And that's why I suggest planning early because when you know in advance that you're going to do something, you can begin to purchase things ahead of time. And so it wouldn't be so hard on you coming up um, on the time of your event. So when you, so now we've sent out our invitations. We're beginning to get responses from our evites and or our invitations, and we've set our budget. Now we need to decide on the food that's going to be served and um, what we want to prepare. So if you're gonna buy some things that's already prepared, you know you need to calculate that into your budget as well as if you're gonna be preparing things yourself. So you need to, this is a great time also to be looking in sales papers um, for um, items. Like for example, I'm making potato salad. A store near me had potato, um, potatoes on sale for 99 cents um, for a five pound bag of potatoes. So I bought the five pound bag of potatoes because I know I'm going to make a potato salad. Um, I had a coupon for some relish. And the relish was on sale at my local store. And so I bought several relishes for the potato salad. So things like that. So things that you know that you generally make or that you're prepared to make. Begin to look out for things and look out for sales for those types of items. Um, and so and then you, need, you will begin to... Um, 
look began to look at like the things that you have as far as your serving wear. So since it's our Super Bowl party, I'm just going to show you a couple of things that I have for our Super Bowl party. And and so doing this, it helped me remember that I needed several things. Um, so I'm writing a list now to um, to go and purchase those things. So first thing is. Um, like your favors, I'm mean, not your favors, so, um, some of your um, your themed items. This was, we've had this for several years from several other parties that we've had. And I usually just keep it in my husband's, um, the game room. But like any types of like table decor or whatever that you plan on having or that you need, you might as well go ahead and purchase it now and um, have that stuff on hand as well as napkins if you needed napkins these napkins I bought recently at the Dollar Tree about three weeks ago and these came from these were last year and I think those were from um, Hobby Lobby from last year so I have several packs of these these were at the end of the season so I picked up all that they had so I have several packs of those and like I said those came from the Dollar Tree this year straws remember I showed you those straws um, on my last video I'm um, about things that I bought um, um, after Christmas and this came from the Target at the dollar spot we have cheese spreaders right here. These are little football cheese spreaders here. I have um, a cheese ball recipe that I am going to um, make. So that's why I'm going to have the football cheese spreaders with crackers. And I showed you the cheese trays, um, chalkboard trays that I was going to use. Showed you that in my last video. Here. These are actually, you see the like the megaphones, plastic megaphones. These were purchased like five or six years ago at Party City. But I'm not going to use them for that. Actually, I'm going to use them this way. And I will be having a popcorn bar. And I can't be the only one who likes popcorn with sweet things. So I'm going to have... A big popcorn bar and in in these and I have several of them uh, more of these and different other colors but they're gonna have candies so I love my popcorn even when I go to the movies I get my popcorn with peanut M&Ms so these are gonna be filled with peanut M&Ms my I have a girlfriend who likes to eat hers with um, whoppers I think it's whoppers with those I'm going to have um, gummy bears, several other candies in there, and for my popcorn bar. So I'm going to use those like that with scoops in them. And then over here, we have these cozies. These are drink cozies, beverage cozies here. But I'm actually using these for the um, my utensils. And when I brought these out, it reminded me that I did not have utensils. I always keep a stash of utensils, um, different colors, and I wanted white, but I have purple. So I'm not going to use those. I need to go get some white um, forks, knives, and spoons for here. Then here's some plates. And these plates I bought um, last year, the same time I bought those napkins. So we have plates. I have plenty of plates. I don't need any of those. Here are cups right here. I like using these clear plastic cups. I think they, are, they, they, make, they make any occasion look elegant. It doesn't tie you to a color scheme or, or anything. I also have some black cups. So if I ran out of these, I have some black and white cups, which, which will still go with this. But um, I will be using these. So I'm just showing you those. Also, your beverage dispenser. Whatever you're serving, um, you don't you don't have to bring out your fancy beverage dispenser. Actually, I if you have a Deals near you, Deals has this stackable beverage dispenser, and it's actually twelve dollars. So it's um, and it holds one and a half gallons. And I saw those, and I didn't get them, but I've been thinking about it now, and I might go back go back and get to but if not I'll be using 
this one. It's just a plastic beverage dispenser. I'm not going to bring out the glass one, but um, we'll have this here. And speaking of that, like I said, get the things that you know you're going to need. And I told you before in um, the video when I had I did for my daughter, I keep these two in my house. My mango nectar and my peach nectar. These, this is like two of my bases for my um, tropical um, sparkling punch that I do. Everyone always asks for it, and when I don't make it, they're upset. So I'm going to have that. I'm also going to have wine um, for people who want wine. People who want beer, we're going to have beer, and we're going to have um, this punch. And um, I'm going back and forth. My husband and I are going back and forth if we're going to have sodas or not. But um, so... And then, okay, so then we come over here. You remember this um, picture, this frame here. And this is one idea that I was, I was um, going on working with. And so I'm going to have cupcakes and I'm going to display them like this. So this is going to be blown up. I just did this. This is just laid here so you can get an idea. But I'm going to have this blown up some more. And, um, and so around here, I might put felt around the edges and have this blown up. This is going to have our name here in the middle. And um, just to give you an idea, this is going to be for our cupcakes. And I have, like, I, you remember I have two of these, so I'm going to have one on each area. And it's probably going to be on in the area near where the popcorn is. Okay, so... Now we know that we have all of this right here. Now we need to think about um, for serving things that you know we have on hand or what we may need to um, serve. And you don't want, like I said, it's for the Super Bowl party. You want to kind of be it to be kind of relaxed, but you don't want it to be like overly cheesy and very. It, it to look like it's just really, really simple. You don't want your whole party to look like you just picked up everything out of Party City. So, here you've seen before. You set it up here. Um, is okay. Sorry about that. Okay. So here is the crock pot, football crock pot that's in my husband's um, game room. And we're going to be using this for um, a dip. So it just, it's just the simple, um, what is it, the Rotel tomatoes, the, um, the cheese, and the, oh, and I'm going to put ground turkey in here. So and let it melt or whatever and mix it up with it and we're going to have tortilla chips in here so that is what is going to be stationed there so I don't have to worry about that I'm going to have some this, this recipe is called the best ham sandwich or something like that and one of my girlfriends made it and oh my god it is a delicious sandwich so we're going to make um have that as well, I'm going to have, like I told you, I'm going to have the cheese ball spread with cheese and crackers. I'm going to have chips and dip. And, you know, just make sure you have enough um, containers to house everything that you will be serving. And so, like here, for example, we have these chips and dip trays here. I have two of those. So, and you know, you, you don't have to do chips and dips. You can do a really nice um, veggie tray right here. And with like a ranch dip and another type of maybe like a chipotle something dip. Or, um, heck, you can even make that into a two-tier platter. I might play, I might play with that, a two-tier um, tower. So, guys, this was just some ideas just trying to get you ready for the Super Bowl, the big game. Um, I have some more stuff, but I'm not going to bring it all out. I'll show it to you when we, um, 
at the end. So this is probably this will probably be it'll be maybe a two or three part um series for preparing for the party. I'm not quite sure yet. I might come and show you um, me preparing or maybe doing a D, some DIYs and then the last one would just be a brief overview of the day before and then with everything all the food out and we'll go over what I prepared um, for the game. And lastly I want to show you this. I purchased my husband this, my goodness, some years ago. And if I could have found one that was Oakland Raiders, I would have gotten it. But every year at the beginning of football season, he puts this out on um, the front porch. So it's only four foot, four feet. And but he put it out and to to commemorate the beginning of football season. So we're gonna have this out greeting our guests and I'm gonna probably do some type of banner or um a banting or something across the door. So I'll show you that as well as well as our little football friend meeting our guests um as they arrive. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it gives you some inspiration to begin your planning if you're planning a football party begin to think about your football party things that you need things that you have and things that you may need to pick up um if you found this video helpful please thumbs up if you haven't subscribed i would appreciate if you would subscribe and if you have a comment or a question please leave it below Thank you again, and as I always say, whenever you're in town, you can always stop by Winnie's house. Bye, guys.